Look on the bright side. We might be stuck in detention on the weekend, but back in ninth grade, I learned that if you get suspended on the last day of school, you actually have to come back during the summer. So, eh, could be worse. Well, I think you deserved it because cause you started an illegal esports ring in the basement of school. They overreacted. Grill, didn't you tell me it was an underground Polly Pocket roller derby? No, that was eighth grade. I never got in trouble for anything that serious, but I got in trouble for video games once. My brother and I have a one-year age gap. While we were in elementary school, his class was always near mine, so it was easy to see each other through this big window between our classrooms. I would glance over and see him clowning around, disrupting class, and then he'd look over and see me fighting against sleep and boredom. That was my problem! I always fell asleep in class! Well, we all have our issues. My brother was a bit of a class clown. Actually, he was a big goofball. I would see him being scolded in class. Sometimes he'd even get kicked out and he'd start singing in the hall just to annoy as many people as he could. One day, after I returned to class from my job at recess as the most sought after sand baker on the playground, sand baker? I made delicious sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> the rec room was out of coffee. When I walked in, all my friends were already in their seats, but something was off. They all looked at me and started giggling. That's when I looked at my teacher. In her hands, I saw a little device. It was small, pink, and terribly, awfully familiar. It was my Nintendo DS! I stared in horror. Between subdued ripples of laughter and my heart beating out of my chest, I prayed to every god I could think of that it wasn't mine. See, I had just gotten Nintendogs, and I was really excited to take care of a pet even if it was virtual. But electronics were explicitly banned in school. Looking at the tiny barking rectangle deep in my heart, I knew it was mine, but I begged the universe for it not to be. I quietly walked to my spot and sat down. My teacher watched me the whole time as my friend's snickering bounced around the room. I kept my head down, but my teacher walked over to my desk and while glaring at me with this terrible grin said, <laughs> My heart sank. Marcus was the name of the mini pincher I was raising in my Nintendo house. How could she have my DS? I didn't even remember bringing it to school. I looked at her, trying to say it wasn't mine, but all that I could say was, I don't have a dog. <laughs> she smiled again. <laughs> I know for her pleasure, Papa. She got me. Like a criminal backed into a corner, I was trapped. She proceeded to lecture me for like 15 minutes about how bad video games were for my health, and sneaking my DS into school was against the rules. <laughs> the thing is, I didn't bring my Nintendo to school. I never bring it to school. I don't believe that video games are that bad for you, but I sure wasn't going to risk having it confiscated. She told me that she heard barking from my backpack and found it. I thought it was pretty messed up that she went into my stuff, but I was so confused. I swore I didn't bring it to school. That's when I saw him. My brother peering in through the window, snickering. Ugh, I thought to myself. He's laughing at me for getting in trouble. When I finally got home, my brother ran over to me. I assumed he was gonna make fun of me for getting in trouble, but he came over and told me he was the one who brought my DS to school. He wanted to play his own game, but one of his friends was going to snitch. So before he could get caught, he snuck it into my backpack. He ran back to his own class and left me out to dry. To make matters worse, I got scolded again at home. My teacher gave my DS back after school, but my parents took it away from me the moment I got in the door. Marcus would have to go hungry. Yo, that's some B to the double S. That's a really cute story, Tulip. I always wanted a little brother or sister. <sighs> they can be so annoying, though. I was so mad at the time, but looking back now, it's pretty funny. I think if I could go back in time and redo that day, I'd probably keep it the same that it was. When I reminisce with my brother, it brings us closer together. Oh, uh, that's that's so sweet. I, I love that. I would have taken revenge. <laughs> One day... 
I'll finally get him back. This story is based on a fan-submitted post. Want us to animate your story? Leave a comment below about a time you got in trouble, and we might feature a story being told to our friends on the hill based on your comment. Terms and conditions apply.